What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Elite Dangerous Guide to Everything. This is a series we're running here on the channel for the next couple weeks, consisting of quite a bit of videos teaching you guys everything from beginning intro to the game, all the way to that ex expert level content. So uh, with that being said guys, today our video is going to be on changing your HUD color, your UI color, whatever you'd like to call it, and how to make that look better for you. So you can see on screen now is kind of the default what you start with, and what you're seeing now as I switch is actually what I've switched my theme to. It's very simple to do, it's not actually in the game and settings but it's a pretty simple thing you can go ahead and change on your own uh, and it takes like 30 seconds to do so it's nothing I've seen anybody mess up personally I thought it was gonna be hard very very easy to change so we're gonna do that in this video if you guys are interested in this series and you're enjoying it I recommend you subscribe or check out the playlist down below for all of our tutorials that will be coming out over the next couple weeks so with all of that out of the way guys first thing you need to do is go ahead and pop over this website as you can see on my desktop now uh, it's going to be linked in the description because it's a little bit of a longer link but it will be down there so what you can do here is you can see there's this is like the default what you start with kind of like safe disengage and all that kind of stuff so what you can do here is go ahead and make your own so you can say i want a little more blue in this layer and you're going to get a little more blue now notice each row affects something differently so if you increase blue here and blue here you're going to get something completely different than what you'd think so it's not like there's only three knobs so it can get a little confusing um, but you can kind of build your own see what you like maybe you want it really red and really blue and whatever you'd like now you can see here in the bottom left you have values changing so this is what you're going to be needing to copy and paste into your system file which like i said sounds confusing it's really not now, if you're having trouble building your own theme and you're not really sure what looks good, you can always go through and change it a bunch of times, or you can pop over to this page right here where you can see some themes already built out. So if you're looking for like a very blue theme, here's a blue theme, here's a green theme, and so on from there. I went ahead and chose their 80s uh, theme right here, and I really like this. It looks kind of cool. It's like pink and red and stuff like that. But I'll probably change it around. I think it's a little bit annoying in the system map, so I just know it changes your system map, your galaxy map, and everything like that. But here's a few of them here, and you can see people's comments of what they've changed and things like that so with that being said let's go ahead and dive into the actual system files you need to change all right so to get access to the files you need to change it's very simple go ahead and first open up your windows tab so for me it's in the top left and then click on computer now you're going to be looking for a, a, a file called ed launcher now for me i installed it in my ssd record drive because that's where i install my games but for most people it's going to be under c drive and then pro program file x86 and then look for your elite dangerous launcher so it should be somewhere in here if it's not under your files uh, x86 go ahead and click on program files over here and it should be under here now if it's not there either and you're not sure where you installed it you can go ahead and search your computer by just typing in ed launcher and then you'll see it somewhere in some file but it should be like i said in the program file or x86 now for me like i said i installed it somewhere else i installed it on my ssd record drive so for me i'm gonna go ahead and click there go into my elite dangerous install folder and then you can see ed launcher right here so once you've found your ed launcher folder you are uh, pretty much halfway done go ahead and click on that and then click on products and then force f dev d 1010 and then you're going to see your graphic configuration file. This is an XML file. Does not matter for you. It's very simple, even though it's not like a traditional like Word document or something like that. So what you need to make sure you do here, this is a safety step that you don't actually have to do, but is highly recommended. Go ahead and take this, edit, or right click, I mean, sorry, copy, and then paste that to your desktop. You can see I've done that right there, and I'm going to go ahead and just copy and replace, but you can see it's right here. This is going to be your, your original file, so if you mess up or you don't like your changes, you want to go back, just delete the current file that you, you made and replace it with this, or drag and drop it over here, and then you're going to be able to replace it. So what you need to do now to make the changes you like is go ahead and right-click, open with, notepad. And then you're going to see a bunch of stuff, but don't worry about any of it. You don't have to change all this stuff. You're just going to be scrolling down and looking for this little set right here called GUI Color. And you're going to look at the default right here. You don't need to worry about any of the other ones, just the default. Now, this is very, very simple from here, right? You see these values that are like 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 1, 1, 0, 0. All that stuff is what you change to get different outcomes in your game. So go ahead and then launch or look at whatever you wanted to change. So let's say this is the theme you chose. You wanted to go a little bit less green. You wanted a very vibrant pink color. Well, you see in the bottom left, here are your values. So you can see 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 is the same thing as these, right? So you just need to replace the numbers now. So go ahead and you see 0.3, change that to one, change this to zero, and change this to zero, and then change this to one, zero, one, and then change this to oh, oh, one. And then go ahead and click File, Save, and then close it. 
for me. I'm not going to save it because I, I like my current layout, but then save it and then you're done. And then go ahead and close this and then restart. If you still had Elite Dangerous open, just restart it. Um, or if you had Elite Dangerous closed already, just open it and you'll see the changes there. And then you can go ahead and edit it however you'd like. And now you have pretty much whatever background you want it to be. So that's really it, guys. That's a simple way to change your UI color and your HUD color. And it takes like two minutes once you know how to do it. So you can mess around with it and see the changes you want. And huge thanks to the guy who created this. I cannot pronounce his name, but it is right here. It's Kemo Kavulas. Um, he created this thing. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like I said, if you did, leave a thumbs up and a favorite. And of course, check out the playlist below for more guides, tutorials, and videos on Elite Dangerous. And of course, you can always subscribe if you like as well. Mailing list and social media in the description. Thanks, guys. Till next time, peace. And here is the outro. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true, baby, let the light